So my life has been drastically impacted by the internet and online communities. And so that is this video because it inspires my mission in the world. Craigslist has been responsible for my last serious relationship. A lot of other less, like more minor relationships. Um, a few of my best friends I've met through Craigslist by putting up, I put up this goal setting group a decade ago. And one of the people that answered is one of my best friends to this day. She is amazing, amazing piece of my life. And my ex-boyfriend is an amazing piece of my life, both of whom I wouldn't have met through, not through Craigslist. I've had a lot of roommates. I have met nearly all of them through Craigslist when I was given the capacity to um, be the one to find my roommate, to have them be more compatible rather than them going through my landlord. And they are, I mean, who you live with changes your life, no matter whether it's a good or bad experience. And I've lucked out that almost all of them have been very good experiences. And a handful of them have become lifelong friends. I, so Craigslist is one, one thing that has greatly changed my life. The other thing is Facebook groups. When I became a parent and I wasn't really able to go out of the house as much, with both the newborn and also just my health challenges and realizing that I can't deal with the sensory input of the outside world, my world became very insular. And as someone who needed to like run everything by someone else so I could kind of gauge it with my inner filter without understanding that's what I was doing, I had these amazing parenting groups that I was part of. Every single one of my health challenges has a Facebook group. So when I need to get advice on that specific thing, or if I have a new thing that arises, like, which one does it fall under? Wait, let's ask the single-sided deaf community. Let's ask the autistic community. Let's ask the ADD community. Let's ask the acoustic neuroma community before I got kicked out of that one for questioning the Supreme Leader. Um, I'm just so grateful for the internet and what it has brought to my life and these especially Craigslist and the Facebook groups. Now there's Game B in the Facebook group, and I don't think I'd met half the people I have met if it hadn't been for, for that group because the, the Twitter Game B thing just doesn't work for, for my brain. But the groups, like I've seen people step up and be there for people they have never met before. They've had conversations in a Facebook group, but then someone doesn't have somebody to like watch their kid for a week while they're in the hospital and people step up and help them. One of the mothers was dying of cancer, is now um, passed away, and the amount that the community stepped up and the integral part of the community that she was, to watch people, you know, gather around finding, like, answers to questions. What is this toy? Where can I find this toy? Because it's my kid's favorite and we've lost it. Crowdfunding and crowdsourcing and just made me see that people when given the option, are good. We want to help each other. We want to do kindness. And even one of the groups kind of was um, this, <sighs> a way for people to help each other who were, who were um, under the poverty line. Like you could request groceries, you could request certain items. And there was a bit of a scandal in there that the people who ran it were like taking more money and doing the stuff. But even in that, even in the like not so great part of humanity, there was still right. The reason they were able to do that was by tapping into all the goodness of everyone else. So let's not discount the goodness of everyone else just because somebody skewed it to their own best interest. Because we can have both. We can do both. We can create systems that aren't as easy to manipulate and still tap into the goodness of humanity. And in so doing, I can see all the ways that the internet is powerful and can connect us and enhance our good nature and how it can do the opposite. And I have now figured out how we can have it do much more of the good with much less of the bad. And a big piece of that was seeing the blessings that both Craigslist and these Facebook groups have had on my life and the lives of people around me.